so hello guys this is pavan kumar and you are watching rkb studies so in this video you will learn about different parts of temple and you will also learn about the terms related to the temple architecture this video will be useful for the students who are studying architecture and to also who are preparing for any architecture entrance examinations like nata j mains paper 2 gate architecture etc all the terms have been provided with the images so that you can understand in a better way if you have any query you can comment below and i will try my best to answer so here comes the classification of indian temples indian temples are classified in two categories uh, one is nagara and second is dravida so nagara is the temple architecture style of north india and dravida is the temple architecture style of south india so you can see in the right side the images of the nagara and the uh, dravida style of architectures okay and uh, you will also find the uh, visara style of architecture which is the mix of nagara and dravida both of them and this is independent so it don't follow all the rules of any one of these so the first term we have that is garbhagriha it literally means the womb house and is a cave like sanctum the garbhagriha is made to house the main icon that is called main deity or the main god goddess which is itself the focus of main ritual attention in the earliest temples it was a small cubical structure with a single entrance gradually it grew to a larger complex so like here you can see this is the deity kept over here so this is called the garbhagriha not this next time we have mandapa so it is the entrance to the temple and it may be a portico or a hall that incorporates a space for the large number of worshipers dances and such other entertainments are practiced over here okay and uh, and some temples have multiple mandapas in different sizes named as ardh mandapa mandapa and maha mandapa ardh mandapa means half mandapa okay and mandapa is simple mandapa and maha mandapa means great mandapa next we have shikhara or vimana they are the mountain like spire of a free standing temple shikhara is found in north indian temples while vimana is found in south indian temples so as you can see in the left side shikhara okay this is little bit curved and vimana is straight pyramidal shape so shikhara has a curving shape while vimana has a pyramidal like structure the next is amalka a segmented or notched stone disk usually with ridges on the rim that sits on the top of hindu temples shikhara or main tower okay so as you can see this is the amalka and this is the main tower or shikhara next is antarala antarala is the transition area between garbhagriha and the temples mandapa so this is garbhagriha and this is the mandapa and in between this space is known as antarala next is kalsa so kalsa is a metal or stone spire used to top the domes of hindu temples commonly seen in north india it is north india only so you can see this is known as the kalsa and this is amalaka and this is shikhara or viman next is jagati jagati is the red surface of the platform or terrace upon which some buddhist or hindu temples are built so you can see this is the jagati and adhisthana refers to the plinth or base of a temple so adhisthana is the bottom portion of the temple so okay now we will try to revise all these terms with the help of image so this is the elevation of the kandariya mahadeva temple that is dedicated to shiva so on top you can see this is the kalasha this portion and this is amalika and from here till here these are shikhara you can see all these are shikhara only but they are smaller so we call them urusringa that is subsidiary shikhara then this is the center of the uh, like the shikhara so where garbhagriha is the situated so uh, between the spaces of the garbhagriha and the mandapas there is this space that is called antarala antarala okay and all these three are mandapa so this is maha mandapa mandapa and ardha mandapas okay now you can see this is pradikshina that is that uh, that is the whole boundary of this so where like uh, many of the worshipers circumambulate okay and then we have jagati jagati is the platform okay so this from here like all of this is jagati only and in the base 
it is adhisthana and these walls are called as transept transept means in the plan you will see like if this is the plan and these walls are like this so you will call them as transept all these four okay so these are the concept of transept and it's similar to the uh, church also okay so this is the plan of lakshman temple in the examination you, uh, you can be given as the elevation like in the previous slide or you can be given as the plan and you can be asked like different parts of the buildings by like uh, they will they will tell like a and name the a or they will say like uh, this is b name what is b so question can be of a different range and so you should be fluent with all of these terms and the terminologies so that's it for this video so see you in the next video and till then keep learning so hope the video was useful and informative so like this video share with your friends and subscribe my channel to get the notifications of the videos i upload